Hey guys, you're watching Cutie Crafts. I'm finally back with another Minecraft tutorial and today we're going to be learning how to make the Minecraft cat in two different poses. The first pose is just the regular standing cat on four legs and then I'll show you the sitting cat. There are so many different types of cats in Minecraft so you can change up the colors to whatever breed of cat you want to make. I would love to see your recreations of the Minecraft cat so let me know what you name your cat and share your pictures with me on Instagram, Twitter, all my social media are down below at Cutie Crafts and let's get started with the templates. I really like orange cats, so of course I had to make one using these colors. Make sure to pause the video so that you can copy down these templates and change up the colors however you'd like so that it can be your own unique cat. I always like to use the masking tape method so that I can get the beads off of the pegboard when I'm ironing. And here I have my painter's tape already assembled in a rectangle so that it makes things easier. Flip. And now I'm ready to get some parchment paper or ironing paper on top to start ironing. I preheated my iron at a medium setting, which is polyester for my specific iron. And you want to iron it just until you see that all of the beads are darkened through the paper or bolded through the paper. That's when you know they've fused together, but don't iron for too long or else they'll be too flat and then they won't click together. Now for the other side, you always want to iron both sides. And just do the same thing, don't iron for too long. And once everything is fused together, you can leave a heavy book on top as it cools to keep everything flat. The great thing about using masking tape is that I can reposition the beads. And with this Minecraft cat's tail, I want it to be curved up a little bit so I can position the beads like so. And this wouldn't be possible if I was ironing directly on the pegboard. Now that the pieces have cooled down, it's time to assemble. Now I'm just painting the white part of the eye and the reason why I didn't put a white bead there in the first place is because when you look at the Minecraft cat, you'll see that at the side of its head, you won't see any white, you'll only see orange. But at the front on the face, there's the white part. So that's why I did it like this, but I'll also show you another way later. Now let's assemble the body. For the legs, I could have just glued these two pieces together instead of making a slot for a third connecting piece, but I really just wanted to try this way out, and you'll see a second method for the legs in the other cat. Even with the connecting piece, I find that this way is still kind of loose. So I'm going to use my acrylic rods to help support it a little bit. And if you're interested in getting these kind of acrylic rods, you can check out the links in my description. Or you could always use some toothpicks. These are all the assembled pieces that you should have. 
And now let's attach the head. Click it back in and the head can rotate like this. Front legs are secure, and now the back legs go around here. I realized after I modified my prototype that the shoulder blades have to be glued on, but if you find this too troublesome, you don't have to add these. Finally, to attach the tail, I'm using my ArtCal mini bead rods, and if you don't have these, you can try using paper clips, but they're a little bit harder. I bent the rod into this kind of U shape so that I can stick it right through the beads. And that's how you can attach a tail that can move up and down. My orange Minecraft cat is all done and I love how orange cats look like tigers. So I'm going to be putting this on my 24th birthday cake since it's my tiger year birthday. I want to show you the first Minecraft cat that I made, the prototype for this version, and it's a calico cat with the two different eye colors. You can see there are some changes from the prototype. With the calico cat, the snout is attached by some rods instead of being able to just click in like you do with the orange cat. And there are some differences with the legs and especially the shoulder blades. The shoulder blades in the calico cat were attached by a rod, but I guess I changed it in the orange one so that it wasn't able to do that anymore. I guess that's the one flaw in this design, but now it's time to make the sitting cat. My mom helped me out with making this gray and white sitting cat, and I chose to give it a blue collar instead of a red one. The face templates are slightly different because you can see I added the green beads for the eyes. Same template as the orange one, and again, super customizable. You can choose whatever colors and whatever breed you want to make. I wanted to try this method with the legs again, but I felt like the beads would be too loose, so I'm just going to go with this template. You can try either one and let me know which one you find is better. Since I added the green bead for the eyes, the side of the head is showing green. So to cover that up, I'm using some white paint on the side. And you don't have to do this, I just like to try to make it look as close to the game as possible.
You can use super glue if it's easier to attach the leg pieces, but I'm going to use my acrylic rods at two different points for each leg. Now we can finally create the sitting cat. You see with this leg piece, there's a slanted part. Now this is gonna be touching the body of the cat like this. And these two front legs have a lot more movement than the orange cat, so you can move up and down like this. Same idea with the hind legs, this slanted diagonal part should be aligned and touching the body like so. So now we have a sitting body and it looks just like a rabbit, a really long one. Attaching the head is tricky since it's at an angle. So I'm going to be using the Markel mini bead rods again to put it through the holes and then create like a neck that is flexible. I had to really bend this rod so that I can ensure the head is upward when I attach it to the collar area. And I put both ends of the rod through one hole. This creates kind of like a bobble head feature for this sitting cat. I really love how the sitting cat turned out and thanks to my mom for trying out my templates for this. I wasn't sure if it would work well with the head being slanted, but this bobble head feature is pretty neat. It's definitely something I've never tried before in my Minecraft figures. And it seems to work pretty well. Now for the final detail, detail. Just like with the orange cat, I'm making this U shape with the mini bead rod and then sticking this into the back end. My sitting gray and white cat is all done. Doesn't he look like such a distinguished gentleman? In case you encounter any more wild cats that you want to tame, I suggest making a mini bead fish. And this is a raw cod that will be a great treat for my cats. This is my mini bead prototype for a black sitting cat. And I just wanted to let you know for mini bead projects, I use scotch tape to get the beads off of the pegboard. And then to iron it, I always have the setting on the lowest possible setting since mini beads are really easy to melt. This is my black sitting cat prototype. And I had to paint on the eyes here with yellow paint. I think I'll name this one Salem. That's how you can make your own sitting Minecraft cat. I really hope you try this out yourself and this took quite a lot of time to figure out. So I hope you can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I know these guys will appreciate it.
Thanks so much for watching. That's how you make the Minecraft cats. I'm still not really sure what I should name this guy. Let me know in the comments below what names you think I should give this sitting cat. I'm pretty sure I'm naming this orange one Chester. Like that's just such a great name for an orange cat. And then I have this black cat, which I've named Salem after the black cat in Sabrina and the Teenage Witch. And finally, the first prototype cat I made, I'm not sure what I should name it. It's a calico cat. So let me know in the comments what you think I should name these two. I also just want to say thank you guys so much for your patience and for understanding why I haven't posted in so long. Um, I haven't posted since July. And the reason is because in July, I moved over to Greece for three weeks. I lived there because um, I just had the opportunity, which I was really lucky to do. And then in August, I left my previous part-time job and had to search for another job, which I found in September. And then in September, October, and up until now, I've been working as a skating instructor and karate instructor. I know those are really like random when you consider that I learned animal biology in school and it's been fun so far so I'm still looking for more jobs and other things to do so I'm glad to be back making some videos also it's my 24th birthday today so I'm going to be putting this orange cat on my birthday cake because it's my tiger birthday since I was born in the year of the tiger anyway thank you so much for watching again I'll see you guys next time with another kitty craft bye